On June 3rd, a National Defense Forces militiaman was killed and four others were wounded after landmine planted by ISIS militants exploded at the junction of Anadal town in the eastern countryside of Salamiya. A Turkish soldier was killed by YPG forces after a rocket attack was launched against Turkish forces in the northwestern Aleppo countryside. On June 4th, ISIS members attacked positions and posts of government forces and their proxies in Faidat ibn Muwani in Al Mayadin Desert, which left five Syrian soldiers and two ISIS members dead. The same day, an ambush by ISIS members in Al Suknah Desert in the eastern countryside of Homs, leaving five Syrian soldiers dead, including Nizar Abbas Al Fahud, a Syrian major general. On June 5th, three Syrian soldiers were blown up and killed by a landmine planted by ISIS in Wadi Abyad in the Al Suknah Desert east of Homs. On June 7th, ISIS militants killed three Syrian army officers after being ambushed in the desert of Tadmor in the eastern countryside of Homs province. Five ISIS militants were also killed during a security operation by the SDF in Al Hasaki city. On June 8th, two Syrian soldiers were killed and 13 others were wounded after a mine planted by ISIS targeting a Syrian military convoy exploded in the countryside of Salamiya city. Also the same day, an Israeli missile targeted the Syrian capital of Damascus. There were no casualties reported by government news agencies, but it is told that 11 pro-government forces died during the attack. The state news agency also maintained that the missile was intercepted due to the activation of Syria's air defense systems. On June 9th, a Russian soldier was killed and three others were wounded after their car drove over a landmine in the village of al Asadiya in the Al-Darbasiya district in al hasaki countryside. On June 10, 13 people including 4 civilians and 9 HTS militants were killed by Syrian army bombardment in Iblin in Jabal al zawiya The incident was described as the deadliest violations of the 15-month-old ceasefire deal, which began with a rocket launch close to the village of Iblin, 15 miles southwest of Syria's Idlib. On June 11th, ISIS attacked a convoy of the Syrian 25th Special Mission Forces Division in the Cancer Road in the southeast of the Aleppo countryside. The attack left two Syrian soldiers dead and 13 others wounded. On June 12th, at least 18 civilians were killed and 23 were injured after missile hit the Al Shaifa hospital in the Afrin city, held by Turkish backed militants. Initially, the Kurdish SDF were blamed even though they denied the attack. Later reports claim the missile came from the Tel Rifat area, which is controlled by the Assad government. On June 16, two Syrian soldiers were killed and two others were wounded after they stepped on a landmine near Deir Adas town in northern Dara. On the 17th of June, two members of the Syrian NDF militia were killed by a suspected ISIS landmine in the Al Mayadin desert during combining operations. On the same day, a field commander and two other members of the Syrian 5th Corps were found dead in the East Raqqa desert after being executed by ISIS cells. On June 18, two Iranian-backed militiamen were killed and eight others were wounded after ISIS attacked their guard post in the Juwaif area in Al Mayadin desert. On June 20, two SDF-backed militiamen were killed by an ISIS landmine in the Al Shula neighborhood, southern Deir Azur province. On June 22nd, two Syrian soldiers died and nine others were wounded after ISIS ambushed them in Wadi al Abyad, the White Valley in Palmyra Desert in Homs Governorate. On June 24th, four Syrian National Army soldiers were killed after clashes erupted at the line of contact near Sajur River due to an infiltration attempt by YPG forces. Four NDF militiamen died and the six others were wounded after an ISIS landmine exploded under their bus in the Salamiya Desert in the eastern Hama countryside. On June 25th, Sheikh Javdat, the Emir of Economics of the Turkestan Islamic Party, was killed by an improvised explosive device blast in the border city of Salkin in Idlib. On the same day, the deaths of five Kurdish self-defense force members and the injury of five others reported after their bus was ambushed by ISIS militants in the town of Jazrat al-Milaj in the western countryside of Deir Azur. On June 26, three civilians were killed after a roadside bomb exploded in Afrin. Turkey blamed the YPG forces for the bombing. On June 27, the US carried out airstrikes targeting Iran-backed militia groups close to the Syria-Iraq border. Two operational and weapons storage facilities were targeted in Syria. 
On June 28, the US forces in Syria reportedly came under fire. Several shells were fired against the US base in eastern Syria's Al Omar oil field by Iran backed militia groups. The US coalition responded by firing heavy artillery. We tried to cover all incidents in Syria in June 2021. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.